And you guys are arguing about whether the yuan should weaken from 686 to 722. If look in the last six months, I think the yen is down about 9% versus the U.S. dollar. The euro is down about 5.5% uh, against the U.S. dollar in the last six months. And the Chinese yuan is down about 3, 3.5%. So it's U.S. dollar strength. And I don't see how that ever changes in the sense that the U.S. is a stronger economy compared to the rest of the world. Uh, Euro and the yen, they're both having stimulatory monetary policy. Yes, we know that China is slowly depreciating its currency, but the U.S. can afford a stronger dollar. Uh, I don't think it's manipulation. Granted, the currency is not freely convertible, uh, but general strength has been the U.S. dollar. Kumar, where do you think Sino-U.S. trade relations go from here, and how important do you think April is and that review of the Treasury's currency watch list? Look, Sri, I think what happen what's happening here is President, President Trump, I shouldn't say President-elect anymore, President Trump has changed uh, trade agreements, both in Asia-Pacific and in North America trade agreement as well. But, but the reason that's been changed is because he wants a better deal for the U.S., i.e., he wants more access to Asian markets, he wants more access to China, he wants U.S. products sold in China and in Asia. He just doesn't want a one-way street where Asia is selling products into the U.S. My gut says that over time that you're going to get a bilateral trade agreement between China and the U.S. and between countries in Asia and the U.S., which will level the playing field so that the U.S. feels better that they're able to buy products from Asia as well as sell products into Asia, and I think eventually that problem goes away.